mean, you're doing it wrong, News. You're doing it wrong. How are you supposed to do it then? That way. Bent over. Whoa. Oh. Okay. No, like push ups, right? You don't want to do push ups like this. Oh, yeah. Bend it over. You're not bent over. Yeah, Fuck off. We get it. You're strong. Submitted by Softwood Floors. Softwood Floors. Oh. That's a good idea. That's funny. So it's all balsa wood? Yeah, it breaks really yeah. easily. Yeah. That's, that's nice. <laughs> it's the shit that you make a cork out of. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, oh cork wood my God. That's an amazing that's floor. Soft. But imagine if your dog pees on it, it just gets soaked into it. Ew. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well that ended fast. Good point. <laughs> a group of vegans have been accused of cuddling pigs to death while I love protesting. Vegans. <laughs> vegans are so nice. Oh no! I Every time I met a vegan, I felt like they taught me a lot about life, and I really appreciate. They're really fun to hang with. Yeah. yeah. I really appreciate all their knowledge and like their passion behind wanting to control the world. They're a fun hang. Yeah. Uh, vegans have such a asinine like reputation that I, I hope it changes. You know what though? Like Are you vegan? I'm not vegan. I, I just feel like anyone who is trying in any capacity should be given like like good job. Like even if it's like, oh, I still eat meat, but I no longer like eat five hamburgers a day. I eat four hamburgers like per week or whatever it hungry. is, right? Like it's like if you're cutting down, you should be given a gold medal just for cutting down. And I think vegans have made it very hard for people to want to even try because you get so like ostracized if you're not vegan. perfectly vegan. It's that evangelical type aspect of the fucking vegan community, that crazy ass like. I'm gonna preach the word of veganism. Anybody who goes throat. too hard in anything is just unfun for me. Yeah. That's my whole thing. Whether you're vegan or religious or you're just not balanced anymore. Though. It's like, dude, you're annoying. There's some like bodybuilder or like powerlifter guys I follow, and that are super for a certain like the anti-vegan diet almost like like a carnivore diet. And they're pretty much talking shit about carrots and like cucumbers and stuff. What? I'm like, damn, that's fucking crazy. Took dude. it pretty hard, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm like. I think you're just as bad as the other dudes if we're just going in on just, you should only eat meat and you're like, fuck. Are the carrots sad? Because they're just getting bashed on? I heard, I heard. I know, fruits and vegetables are happy. Is that what you said? Bashed on, but I like <laughs> bashed. bashed on. Well, I always say that one day we're gonna find out that like lettuce ha can feel and then it's gonna get interesting. They like, did say plants can feel. Yeah, they did right? say that. So when oh, lettuce, man, they wrong. can communicate too. They can actually yeah. communicate. And by the way, you know, a lot of vegans don't like me saying this, but I will say it because I enjoy debate. Um, the amount of woodland creatures and like little small animals that get killed because you like salad more is pretty high. Yep. Like by tractors and all the shit that they, you know, they till land with and stuff. So it's Which not just worse. like, there's no like no murder free zone. You no, know there's a, and there's actually a lot of like farmers because they care about their crops, whether it's to grow tofu or whatever. They're blasting all the fucking toads and turtles that are swimming around eating their like soy product. So they're killing hell of animals just to farm like a lot of these vegan friendly foods. Exactly. Yeah, Do unless they're like living off the, the grid and it's making their own food and growing their own vegetables, they're not really doing Because toads and turtles favor. are their fucking pests now, so they gotta blast them. What'd you say, Tiff? Is it is one worse than the other? Oh, or yeah. Are you I mean, saying it's equal? No, 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 no. I'm not saying it's equal. I'm just saying there's no murder free zone. For sure. Well, I don't think vegans, I mean, and I'm not talking about the hardcore ones, I don't think vegans think that. I think all they're trying to do is just like be ethical or for environmental reasons, or they're just trying to uh, kill like the lowest food, or not kill, but consume the lowest. But what about food? the dead toads, the dead toads and the dead turtles? I'm only talking about the extreme ones who are oh, like, okay. you're a murder face because you eat yeah. animals. And That's shit. like Lisa Simpson yeah. is what a level four vegan. Oh yeah, That's she doesn't eat anything that casts a shadow, and I think everyone should live by that. Nice. <laughs> anything so that you... casts a shadow. It's so fucking funny. I was thinking of going vegan. I'm a level five vegan. I won't eat anything that casts a shadow. Wow. Eat. I think that's probiotics. That's yeah. the joke. Yeah. I think that's the joke. There's nothing. Only air. Yeah. Cause even water casts. Even water. Well, you just got to eat mastin, cause it's only in the shadow, so it doesn't have shadow. There you what go. the fuck is mastin? Moss. moss. Then. Oh, moss then. <laughs> you mean like mold? Mastin, Massachusetts. It's the mercury retrograde. We can't hear. I kept mishearing all day today. Nobody heard it. <laughs> Spoken like my wife. You guys heard it. <laughs> She told me about Mercury Retrograde for the past, like, fucking five days. Tell me, I missed it. Oh, it's it's, it's Mostyn, uh, Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, That's funny. Okay, so what we're talking about here. Pigs. Um, yes, dead pigs. pigs. There were 200 vegans from the group 
meet the victims and it's spelled meat like the meat that we eat. Of course. Um, yeah. So they stormed a farm in the UK in order to protest against pork. But they're saying, the farm is saying that they, they ended up suffocating or- uh, What? What did they storm squashed. the farms with? They ended up squashing one of the pigs. <gasps> what? They what Black the Friday fuck? trampled on them? Two of the pigs. And then two other piglets had been Pig taken pigs. away. Uh, and then <laughs> so they ended up, they yeah. just fucked up four you know piglets. Funny? Okay, this might be really fucked up, but I think it's so funny when people have the best of intentions and then they fuck it all up for themselves. Yeah. They're just stupid. I think that's the funniest that's thing on this. That's just humans. That's just being, humans are shitty. It's true. It's like when, he, when you see uh, environmentalists, they go out and they do some big protest somewhere to be like, stop all the littering and shit. And then they, they the, when you view the photos of the next day of people cleaning the shit up, like the janitors cleaning up, it's like crazy. There's just fucking from the bottles bottom. Everywhere yeah. and shit. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. papers everywhere and shit. Yeah. So fucking. They're fun. like protesting. Everyone's for a hypocrite. Yeah. Like you said, the like yeah. humans are We're all terrible. Yeah. My brother hugged the fuck out of a fucking bunny and killed it <gasps> when he was a kid. He Lenny did. He loved the yeah. shit out of that bunny. No. Yeah. Who's and Lenny? Dude, from, from from Mice and Men. Yeah. Of Mice and Men, yeah. He was kind of not. His IQ was low, but he was strong. Lenny? Dude, yeah. What what oh, turns me out? I'm like, I thought he was really smart. No, I think he's like a he's a. He's supposed to be like a Down syndrome kid or something. I think it's never yeah. said. But, it's never said, yeah. But it's just, yeah. but then aren't Down syndrome people like strong as hell? He definitely has the strength factor, right? Yeah, I don't know. Nikki um, has not been a. She's not a vegan, but she's definitely done like. She doesn't like eating animals very much. Yeah. Uh, and she has show. She's taught me that pigs are pretty smart. They're really smart. Yeah, and people have them as pets. And that's Ooh. one of her protests about eating. She. That's why she doesn't want to eat like. Pig but it's delicious. I know it's very good, and then so and that's my thing is like I get that they're really smart and that they have emotional responses to things and they even like love each other and all that shit. Yeah, but and the more you eat, the more emotional you get. Right, but they're not smart enough to escape yet and begin a movement. And I think once they are, then I'll be on their side. I'll stop eating them. If then. they learn how to talk, and yep. if they evolve that much, I'm gonna learn how to make them shut they up. They talk with their eyes. They look at you and they're like, "Help me!" and they blink twice at you. So yeah. I see like them at this. the at the um, state fair. I want to pet them, and then I get hungry, <laughs> and I go walk over to the area where they're serving pork hot dogs. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. But only the piglets are cute. Like. They're cute. I like the big guys too. Those, I guess, are called. I like the big old pigs. They're the cute sows. too. Sows. Yeah. Big old sow. The sows people look like Walmart ladies. They do. The fat ones. They do. That hang out at Walmart and they're so fat that it looks like they're when they wear like sandals and stuff, it looks like a sausage in a sandal. Pigs look like my grandpa's old head. Yeah. Where it's just scalp and then a bunch a couple stringy hairs going yeah. across. It looks like a grandma. With moles on it. Yeah. So I this is the group, meet the victim. So they're saying that they like picked oh. up some piglets and then so, so they, they would pick them up. So they broke into a farm? They would pick them up and then like put them in the wrong place. Oh, come on, oh, you why morons. Would they, um, why would they show their crime? Like, why would they take pictures of their own? Like, because it was part of their protest. Like, it was part of them like bringing awareness to how poorly they're dudes. being held. Yeah. That doesn't look like a fucked up farm though. Yeah. Well, there's this other one. I'm not gonna show it to you, but they- I mean, it's they a did, pretty tiny pen. For sure. They're breaking into all these Beverly like Hills big, farms and shit. Like these big ones here. Um, like the pig is literally trapped and it can't even turn around. Well, cause they're too fat, they can't move. Well, yeah, the pens the, are too the small. The pen, oh. it's literally like this oh. on them. Like they yeah. Can't yeah, yeah, that's wrong. I mean, I think, I think it's like, it, it. people come from with the, with the best intentions, right? And I think we as people, of this generation have seen enough uh, chatter on Twitter and whatnot and seen enough documentaries to understand that the meat packing industry is, it's terrible. Oh, it's it cool. is really bad. And I think we all know that. And I think making small strides like in our personal lives does a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I think that, I don't know, like, Again, like just because you have a big group of people talking about it doesn't mean that it's going to always work. And you know, it's like, I think that you have to live by example and this was clearly a bad example. Right? They didn't do their, they didn't thoroughly think think it through. I think that's what it is. Yeah, and I think people should lead through just positivity and like through 
by example. Well, so, and compassion, because that's what they're all about. Yeah. Right? So if if like, if, if you can make a change positively and show everyone like how dope it is, like I think that's better than trying to bash another group. Because it'd be like, for example, like me and Joe we used to preach pursue your passions a lot. Right, and then so no, we I would, don't believe it. So we would try. We would like show, like, hey, like when you pursue your passions, like you're really passionate about all the things that you're doing, and you feel really rewarding. But we didn't go to like a bunch of like skyscrapers and start screaming, "Your job fucking sucks! Everyone fucking sucks in here!" Like, it's a good idea. <laughs> like that would be that, that would, might wake them up. Start backfire. pursuing your passion. That would backfire so hard because they're right. like, wait, these guys that are pursuing their you passions. You know what this are reminds me of? Yeah. So like every year, like a bunch of Buddhists will go to the pet store and they'll buy fish and then they'll release it into the ponds here, right? But what they do is they introduce invasive species mm. into the fucking water and they destroy the ecosystem. But they think they're doing something awesome by like you know releasing these. Uh, piranhas. Piranhas or f snakeheads or I don't know. They they get some fish. They don't even know what they are. They don't do the research, but mm -hmm. they're like, we're gonna release these these fish and we're gonna let them back into the ecosystem. And it's like, man, you're just fucking up the world doing that. Right. So Jeez. that's that that's I see it as the same thing. Is like you're not thinking things through. You didn't even do your research. You have good intentions and a great heart, but you're actually doing way more damage. It's like good. the people who pick up the little dolphin and take a picture with it. Oh, yeah. yeah. They have such good intentions. No. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to hug it and love yeah, it. Yeah, they love it. They yeah. love the dolphin. It's definitely like a measurement of like good intention versus selfish like need, oh, yeah. right? Because yeah, it's yeah. like if the if the only reason why you're doing something like good or charitable is because it's to feed a selfish need, then that's something where you just got to take a step back. Yep. Like, why am yeah, I doing truthful. this? Yeah. Yeah. It's all that's about the intentions. True. For sure. Well, you can always go them. too hard. No, and, and vegans are watching this right now, and you're like, oh, Steve vegans making fun of me or whatever. No, I, it's yes, the extreme yes, yes, ones. Yes. Well, yeah, I am. But no, it's the extreme, it's, it's when you take it too ones. far. Yeah. It's like conspiracy shit. I love conspiracy shit, it's so fucking fun. But sometimes, you can take it too far. Like, for example, you know, I think all the JFK shit's pretty legit and dope, yeah. but then, recently, like, someone who I think t has taken things a little too far, Alex Jones, right? So he, he called me out, and uh, for making the Ooh, thinning. He knows you? So he, well, he didn't call me out by name, but he called me out for, um, he called up out us who made the thinning too, because he's saying that we're, it's called the thinning new world order, and we're trying to indoctrinate kids to make them ready for population control. And I'm, I'm like, dude, if you knew me and Michael Gallagher who wrote this movie, you'd know that a couple fucking idiots wrote this in a basement. Like, it's not, there was no, like, meeting with the Illuminati, New World Order shit. That's a huge compliment. It is, it's pretty cool. To think well, that what you're... have you not told us? What was that? What have you not told us? Right, exactly. But that's what I'm saying, where you can, you can just, where it's, you copy paste that attitude into everything. So now everything that you see is part of this conspiracy thing, or this, like, the con construct in your mind of how much the world sucks, like, like vegan gotta be everything that I do in my life. Like it just gets to be too much and you become annoying.